Hi you! Welcome to another episode of The Sims 3. I don't have too long this morning because I'm gonna have to go to work here shortly, but I wanted to get to work on this park a little, you know, get some more done here. I want a, a, a public place that's easy to get to day or night. I don't have to worry about it being opened or closed where we can bring people to meet other people. And um, I, I have a lot of families yet that I want to put in here. I have a lot more families I want to create, so I thought, you know, maybe it's time we actually start um, getting busy on this city. Uh, this village, it's not a whole city, it's just a village. So I'm going to just start with a wall here real quick. And I'm going to place, you know, I, you have to have a public washroom, something like that. And I don't really know how big I want it to be, so I'm just going to put down, you know what, I probably don't need a lot of these. Yeah, we'll just do the two, which gives me an indication of how big the room actually has to be, because I don't want it to be all that large. Um, that's too close. Okay, so we pop that one out. We take that down. And we do it here. That works. But now I need another stall. So, um, Quill was trying to upload our surgery session from last night and YouTube wasn't cooperating so a lot of it didn't get put up unfortunately um, but he's re-uploading right now so it should be there later today which will be lots of fun I hope <laughs> it's not too much of an embarrassment <laughs> yeah we'll see I had a good time last night though I have to admit we had we had a lot of fun but we often do. I, I am so blessed. I have such a great family. We has fun all the time. So what kind of washroom or sinks would we have in a public toilet in my little village? What would it look like? Isn't that a pretty one? I don't think that's quite right, but it looks nice, right? You know what? I'm going to take... No, I'll leave it for now. I'll probably end up changing the colors here once the room is coordinated a little better. I'm just going to make it a unisex washroom because sometimes, it, I don't know, I just like the idea of, I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. Just even things, you know? See, now that looks like the kind you'd see in a public washroom. But it also looks like it needs washing all the time. It always looks dirty. <laughs> So we'll skip that one. Oh, that goes in something. What is that? Not so much. Hygiene for environment. You know, that just goes on the wall. We're going to put in a couple of these. Put one here. Where was it? This one. We'll put in another one. Uh, we're going to want a mirror above because that's just nice. We always want to make sure you're all spiffied up, especially if you're going to the park to meet somebody. Just the one. That goes right through the water pipes. <laughs> so maybe not that one. Uh, I thought we used to have a great big, long, big, big thing. But, hmm, that's a big, long, big, big thing, but no. Hmm, that's the one I just picked? No, okay, that works. You know what, that'll do. We can make this all very usable. So that tells us how big the place has got to be. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave a little space there, actually, I think this will do. Take that out, take that out. Um, doors, doors are nice. I'm going to put this up so we see what the room, or you know, what it's going to look like. And what kind of doors do we want? This is a public place, but it can be a nice public place. Do we want it to show through? You know, I 
I think I do. I think it, or we could just have, you know what? Uh, do I have anything like that? Like just solid windows. That doesn't work. For, see, that's one of the, the things you download and they don't work very well. And at one time, you you know, you could click on them and then just delete them from here. But see, that doesn't work anymore. Yay. I think I'm going to do that. And then windows, do we want windows? Yeah, we want something. Little pop-ups here, notices of, yeah, hi. <laughs> if you just sent me a message, hi. Uh, loft windows, we want some light in, but you know, people might be in here, you know, changing clothes or, I think I'm going to stick one back here and put in a little seating area, I believe, there. Just, you know, if you want to change your shoes or something, I don't know. If you fall in the pond and, you know, you have to come and something like that. Well, I got a Tropico uploaded this morning. I'm hoping to get this up before the day is over. An outdoor sofa. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Um, a bench, just a bench. I don't know. See, yeah. You know, I'm thinking, would you want to be sitting there if somebody was going to the bathroom right next to you? No. <laughs> we are just going to put in... Um, I thought I snagged a couple of things here. You know, it's a little strange with the kind of objects that they allow. I went, see, this is a community lot. I made this a park. And I wanted to put in an actual, like a, a roofed over area with, with an actual cooking area built in. And I can put in refrigerators. I can put in washers and dryers in a park. I can put in trash compactors. No stoves. I have this set here, all done in brick, especially to put outside and patios and things like <coughs> and things like that. And it does it disappears from here. And I had um, like some outdoor um, trash cans, and they disappeared. Although apparently I can get them back. Well, that's okay then. So we are going to put in a trash can in here. And I'm going to put in a recycle bin because that's just nice. Yeah, you got to have that sort of thing. So we'll just stick that stuff back there. I'm going to want some towels um, or something to dry your hands on. And I wonder where I'd find that. Uh, maybe just in the de decorations, you know that? Uh, I do know I have some. They're the, the little racks that have the, the towels that loop. I know I've got some somewhere, but I should have gone to look for those before I was in here with you guys. Um, of course, with this whole community lot thing only allowing certain things, I may not have access to them anymore. Kind of strange. I'm wondering how they make these decisions. I can put in a washer and dryer. Well, I could be doing a laundromat, but you would think that would be on a lot. There are lots designated laundromats. But I can put a dryer in a park, but I can't put... I can't put a stove. It seems kind of lame. So I'm going to put one there, and if I hold the shift key down as I place things, I can just keep doing one after the other. And I suppose most of you know that, but we have a lot of new players, so not everybody will. So I know I made the big announcement last night that I'm hoping to work up to three videos a day. I would really love to do that. I don't know how long that's going to take me, but I'm working on it. 
um, two lights again shift key will let me do that with some things with lights chairs uh, you can often just keep placing them they will allow you to you know put in as many as you need to but not everything does so all right how far are we over we've got one two you know what we'll do well two in and that's one two three that makes them even except except not well that'll be all right <clears throat> now let's put a roof on and see what that's going to look like what kind of roof do we want I well, just do fast. Let's do auto roof on. I don't always use the auto roofs, but sometimes, you know, for simple things like this, it's just easier. Oh, it looks like a little playhouse. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think for a public place, that's just fine. <gasps> Look, there's Quill's treehouse. It looks cool from here. Oh my god, I like it. Look at that sitting up on the hill there that's pr that's fun I hadn't seen it before so makes me happy and the color I don't know what color because I don't know what color I'm doing the walls yet so let's go down lose the roof for a moment and what do we want this to look like oh you know what something else we need um, lights on the outside for at night Just something like something like that. Sure. Okay, what color do we want it to be? You know what? We can decorate this later. I just want to get some things blocked in and then we'll play with the colors. Same reason as before. Things are just so slow and I'm in there that now do I want to have a you know a sort of roofed in section to put these things in or do we just want to leave it you know out in the open the roofed in section would look nice but it's also you know it's harder to play sometimes but maybe if we made it high enough if we did a two-story column do we we used to just have two-story columns that made it easy but I guess we don't do that anymore oh here we go three no not that big just two and what are the options a ye old column this is a park we don't actually have a lot of choices unless we just go you know what maybe that that might might work okay Put one here and how far over do we want it um, I do want to put that hedge in in the back so that's gonna go there well this is okay can I snag that no oops not that one that one too high and we're using this one You know what that'll do just a little spot where they can you know get out of the rain be able you know if you're in the middle of a picnic and it starts raining it kind of sucks now is that going to be no so I will have to put and I can't select these I'm gonna have to put one in the middle so the roof fits even if I take it out later, which I will probably do, at least the front one, this will allow us to put the roof on. Once you've got the roof, you can just, you know, ignore it. Is this not letting me put a roof up there? And why not? Hmm. Yeah, indeed, why not? Flat roof, hipped roof, turn that off. Can I just, there we go. I guess you can't just do it with the auto roof on. So uh, from that corner to 
that corner. Am I in the right place? There to there to there. And then see if it's even. That looks really strange. <laughs> No. Oh, no, no, no. Put it back. I lied. Um, what did I want to do? The patterns. This one. Let's see if we can put that a lot lower and see if it looks any better. Now, it would look, you know, it would look better lower on the level with that. I think I would like it a lot more. You know, I'm not liking this at all. So what could I do to make this not look really, really stupid? <laughs> I could just put a flat roof. I could, you know what? I just do it lower. I'll just do it lower. Just take it all out. Oops. Put back my little mm, that away, that away, mm, that. <laughs> Seriously, come on. Okay. People are watching me. That's the one. Okay, so let's just go with one, just one level. And we'll just never, you know, we'll just play low so the roof doesn't show all the time. That's all. And now, at this row, why aren't they all selected anymore? Hello. Leave it. Come back. There we go glitches always with the glitches so now we can use any sort of column we want well that's kind of too much it's pretty though um well that's just all kinds of fancy That's the same one we had. It kind of made everything look like it was up on stilts though, didn't it? Well, that's nice and solid looking. Let's, you know what, let's try this one. And where were we? We had it here. Here. I will need one in the middle and I, there we go. Whoops wrong place and can I grab that one okay that works all right and here and here and those are not connecting so the roof may or may not go it might not work it might say there's no support okay it's gonna work yay So what does that look like? Better. Still a little odd, but better. That'll work okay, won't it? Say yes. Because <laughs> we'll be playing at this level, I think, most of the time anyway, so that'll be fine. Or we'll just choose to play at this level all the time, so it is fine. <clears throat> because in here, I wanted to place... Um, you know, I was going to have the cooking area. <coughs> I guess there's no, should we? See, I like the idea of having a little public fridge because if you come to picnic and you have, you know, your hamburgers and you want to keep them fresh, there's like a cooler on site. And that seems so civilized and nice, but, but I was going to have a whole cooking area. There's a couple of vending machines, which I may or may not choose to keep. Don't know yet. Now, for the barbecue, do we put it under here? Do we? You know what? I don't think so. We're just going to have them out here. Um, we can put a, a picnic table or two out there. I'm using the shift key here to be able to just get a few of them. And, um, you know, just in case. We don't want everybody sitting under there. You should be out in the sunshine making your vitamin D. A snow cone machine. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what we're going to do with this yet, but... So that, this area is going to be a cooking, you know, I, I mentioned that before, a, a public washrooms, a cooking area, 
some nice little places to sit and then you know a garden don't really remember what I decided on the other I can either go back and watch my own video which I never do or um, I know somebody mentioned a gazebo I kind of like that idea that would be good I thought about putting a fishing pond just a very small pond and sticking some fish in it so people can come in you know fish on site and then they could go over and barbecue it when they catch it see that would work out all right um, I think we're gonna need are you ready a tree <laughs> gotta have a tree even if it no it's a little bitty I want something big enough to cast some shade but not so big that it just you know gets in our face when we're trying to play the game see that's awesome to look at but hmm. where's the big bamboo did you guys see these fantasy things maybe for the lady who's a fairy I've created a really pretty fairy I, I'm anxious to build her house too because that could be lots of fun but uh, I, I just don't know what to do with some of these fantasy trees they seem a bit a bit too too you know palm trees we could put palm trees in there I do like that one but it's always going to be in the way when you're trying to play some really tall ones hmm <sighs> Isn't that great? Not for in here, but it's a great tree. Eucalyptus. I don't know, maybe. I'm always torn between, oh, that's so pretty. And then when you're moving around and you're trying to play, trees can, I really hate to say this, but trees can really get in the way. This tall bamboo, isn't that amazing? And it's like up there, out of the way. I know we have some trees somewhere. Oh, look at that baby. Isn't that a beauty? Huh. Well, that's different. You know what? Let's just put it there. And I can always cut it down, right? We can do this. We have the technology. So let's go back up and start playing with colors. We will or put wallpaper on it anyway. So outside a wooden one, stucco. I like st see. I always like stone. I'm always going for stone and brick. Yeah, it's my thing. I love brick, old brick. I don't like the new stuff where everything's uniform and all the colors are proper. You know, like that. I like the old stuff a lot. Like, oh, it's so fun. There used to be a pattern in one of the earlier Sims that looked like really old brick and I used it all the time. I just, all the time. So if we put in one of these, you see I like that a lot. And then we could use some of these corner pieces like that. That always looks nice. Go give it some architectural details. Okay, that won't work, so we can't do that. I'd have to move the um, I'd have to move the door over because this whole block is the one side, and I can't. Yeah, I can put it the other way, but I can't have both. And this one, no, this one is that corner. And that corner. And that one. And that one. And we have to um, we have to color the top gables there, whatever they're called to. Now that might look a little funny. So we may change this with the the white baseboard. Is that going to work? Well, I don't know. For now, <laughs> I reserve the right to change my mind. <laughs> In case you haven't caught that. Oops. 
And now the roof color, let's go play with that and see what's going to work. I love this game. I just love this game. The little thatch stuff, isn't it cute? It's not right for this, but... We have to do this in live streams. So you guys can say, yeah, that one, stop, no, back up, go there, or something. That'd be kind of fun. And I do want to start live streaming. I might, might, we'll see, we'll see how tired I am by the end of the week, but maybe this week on Thursday, I might try just an afternoon, a short afternoon live stream. Oh, isn't that pretty? I kind of like that. Okay, we're gonna leave that up for now. Um, I'm going to want these to be that color. You know what? One thing I do want to do, I think I'm going to take this one out. It's still standing, so that'll work. Um, can I do snag that and pull it over to that? Eventually. Ooh, I have to go to work in a few minutes. But I'd rather play Sims 3. And we wait. Did I even select it? Go. You can do it. Or... <laughs> there we go. Wow. Okay, so that's going to take a long time. So what I'm going to do is tilt this go down on the roof move the roof away <clears throat> take these out and the roof will stay up there oddly enough and then replace these um and hope that i get them in the right place for the roof darn see i should have paid more attention maybe does that look right no, it doesn't look even, does it? Uh, well, we'll find out. Nope. <laughs> so, slide. Can I slide it over? Oh, come on, let me do this. Not at this height. So, I've just got to move them, what, the one square? I hope, I hope. Which means the one in the middle is no longer even. Does that look right? Okay, these look strange up here. We've got like a gap. The roof is sort of floating over the top. That's a little bit irritating. So for right now, we're going to pretend that I didn't see that. This is starting to work out anyway sort of you know it would have maybe been better oh you know what I would have liked maybe the washroom here along this way facing in and this could have been right down the side and then turned the corner and became the washroom wouldn't that be prettier <laughs> and it would be all one building so you know what's going to happen to this, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I like that idea better. I think, see, and I didn't see it. I never pictured that until I saw it like this. So this is how I build and rebuild and rebuild. And then, you know, you guys see the end product and go, oh, isn't that a clever little idea? But this is how it happens. So for now, now that we've decided what we don't want, um, I have to leave. I have to go to work. So I'll put this online. Maybe, you know, some of the newer people will have learned that if you use the shift key, you can put a whole bunch of things down instead of just selecting one at a time. That might make this slightly useful, but you can see the evolution of how this is going to work because I, I can tell I'm going to tear all this down and um, rebuild it with a nice L shape there and with the, the washrooms on the or the toilet here on this side. And uh, yeah, 
there we are. So thank you for being here and for sharing my morning with me and letting me have all this good times with you. And hit the like button, please. Leave your comments. Tell me what else you'd like to see in here. Um, and until I see you next time, please live your life happy. Have an awesome day. The sun is shining here. I hope it is where you are. Or I, or I hope you're having a really cozy, rainy day. And choose to build your life beautiful. Bye-bye.